Okay, hello everybody. Um, I've got the synchronous motor set up according to the lab manual. Uh, I've got maximum load on the dyno, dyno on, maximum excitation, and I'm going to just uh, start it up and try and uh, explain some of the behaviour that you see. So initially, turn on the power. Now you'll hear the motor make quite an ugly sound. Talk is about 1.36 newton meters. So it sounds terrible. Um, now if I uh, take the load off to minimum and do the same thing again, it actually ends up pulling into sync. I'll just do that one more time and see if we get that torque measurement on here. Now, for some reason it's not displaying on there. Now the second thing I'll do is I'll just take the excitation off and start it that way. So you can see it kicks in pretty easily. Um, and basically it's running now as an induction motor. So if I click to speed, you'll see just, uh, just under 1,457 RPM. Now if I throw on the excitation, it pulls into sync. Switch it off, jumps back down to uh, asynchronous speed. You notice too that if it's uh, synchronized, if I reduce the uh, power down, It'll stay in sync for a while. If I load it up, it'll also stay in sync until it reaches a braking torque. There's a certain braking torque uh, which is affected by the level of excitation. So as I change this excitation here, the braking torque changes. So there it's a lot lower now. Maximum excitation braking torque is higher. So that's basically what I wanted to show you with the uh, synchronous motor.